guys welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing this look right here this pop of color is uh it's appropriate for any event that you're going to or if you're tired of with if you're tired of doing natural looks this is a way to ease into the pop of colors if you're scared of using color you can start like this i mean excluding the lip you can just do your eyes or excluding the eyes you could do your lips but if you guys want to stay tuned on knowing how I did this look, you know what to do. Just keep on watching. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows, my foundation, highlight, and contour. I'm going to go ahead and grab any fluffy brush and place down a translucent color on my eyelid because I already prepped and primed it. And I'm taking a, like one shade lighter than my skin tone just to pack it on my base that I put down to prime my eyelids just so some the eyeshadows have something to grab onto and not move okay so now I'm taking any fluffy brush and I'm gonna put my transition color in and I'm taking Blunt and Harmony from MAC. They blushes but I use them as bronzers and my transition colors. So I'm taking those two in my crease, dabbing just a little bit and putting it in here. Nothing dramatic, just a nice little swirl of transition color before I go and deepen it. Okay. And if you want to see um, how I do my eyebrows, I already have a video on how I do them. And I'll leave the link down below. Okay, and once you're done with blending your transition color, you want to go ahead and go with a more deep, not a more, um, a tapered blending brush. I'm going to take my Morphe, any slim tapered brush that's used for blending for the eye crease, but a little bit more pointy at the tip. And I'm going to go ahead and take that in any chocolate brown eyeshadow and I'm using my color and my Sephora color anthology color book this has a whole bunch of colors that you can work with if you're a beginner in makeup or if you want to use it on yourself just to play but what I'm going to do is place this right at the outer corner and just focus it there and you see how you get that sharp, crisp, nice little placement of color only on that area where you're focusing your brush. Okay. Okay. And if you want to go back in with a little bit more color, just slightly dab your brush in just so you won't get so much product and your eyeshadow won't look muddy okay let's see how this turns out and I'm not taking it all the way to my inner corner I'm just doing it literally right before where um before my middle of my eyebrow and i'm just focusing it right there okay and now you want to go ahead and do the same thing to your other eye and sorry for the noise in the background 
my family is home so and I wanted to film a video while they were home okay so after you're done doing that you want to go ahead and pack on the lid color I'm doing this bone white color so you want to go ahead and take your your shader brush and pack on your lid color and I'm gonna go ahead and get my well get my use my let me call it brush just to pack on this color right here that's in my palette because since we are doing a pop of color I want the top of my eye to be very very natural nothing dramatic and you can honestly put what you can honestly do this with whatever color you want but I chose to do neutral, neutrals and browns, just so the pop of color that I'm gonna do will not be interrupted with, well, will not clash with um my, my eye look. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to curl my lashes and put my lashes on off camera and i'll be right back and we'll get started on the pop of color that we're gonna do okay on the so bottom i finished lashes. putting on my lashes and my mascara now we're going to go into our bottom lash line what i'm gonna start off with is with an angled brush and um i'm taking this pop of color that um i'm choosing it's this teal mermaidish blue and um, I'm gonna, this is a cream eyeliner from e.l.f. And I'm gonna put that in, in my waterline and I'm gonna drag it down to my lash line. I'm first starting with cream and then I'm gonna set it with a eyeshadow. So you wanna go ahead and do that. Oh, and by the way, the lashes that I'm using are from House of Lashes. They're the Pixie Lux. And I'll, I'll leave everything that I'm using down below. And this is how it's going to look once you put it on your waterline, but don't get scared. Once it's blended out, it's not going to look crazy. And you can honestly choose any pop of color you'd like. It doesn't specifically have to be this color that I'm using, but whatever color that you're in the mood for. Okay, so after I do that, I'm going to take the angle brush and I'm going to dip it again and put it on my lower lash line now. And right now, I'm just placing it. I'm not going to blend it out. I'm going to blend this out. Well, I'm not going to blend it out with this... Um, angled brush I'm gonna blend it out with uh, a pencil brush and make sure it's nice and blended before we put on our powder to set it oh 
Okay, so I did that already. Now I'm going to grab my pencil brush with no additional product. And I'm just going to blend out the edges. And I'm taking my shader crease brush E47 from Sigma. And I'm just taking it and I'm just blending it. And now I'm gonna take the what is it? This brush from Mac. It's a just to put the powder on the eyeshadow. On. It's right here. It's the E. It's the E two twelve brush, and it looks just like this. This is a great brush for your under eyes. So I'm taking this color from Morphe. It's, um, it, it doesn't have a name, but I took it out from my palette. I'm taking this one, and it's just about that same blue, except it's a little bit more, a little bit touch more, uh, a little touch more um, darker, but it's okay. And I'm setting that in my waterline as well. So the pigmentation of that eyeshadow will stay nice and bright and it won't fade away. And make sure you do not get this um, eyeshadow in your eye while applying it. Because it, it will feel weird. This powder gives it such a beautiful pop. At first you just want to pack it on and be gentle with your eye because it, your eye is sensitive so you don't want to poke yourself and you start tearing all over the place and mess up your makeup. Okay. We're almost done with this look. This look is super easy and super quick. That you would be in disbelief of how quick it will be if you just have to run off and do something or go to an event and you just want to look different if you're always doing something natural you just have these pops of color of whatever color you want and it will look beautiful on anybody okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna coat mascara on my lashes and the one that i'm using is the elf volume plumping mascara that's a mouthful and it looks like this and I'm going to take it and just pop it on my lashes. And if you want to be a little bit more funky with it, you can do um, a pop of uh, um, a, a pop of color of mascara as well. As I say, you could do it on the same color that you will be doing with the eyeshadow. I think the... Any color will look beautiful. And you can also do um, falsies on your bottom lashes. That will give it a, a pop too. And just coat your mascara as much as you want. I like a lot of mascara because I hardly have any bottom lashes and I want them to be out and popping. That was my ratchet, right? Just like this bun. Sorry for the bun, guys. It looks horrible, I know. But I do not know what to do with my hair. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you are liking this lighting, 
better than the two videos that I posted before that I post before this one. Please let me know in the comments below if you like this late, if it's a thumbs up, if it's a thumbs down. Let me know what it is. Boo. Okay. Okay. So now that we're done with our mascara, what I did not put no blush or no highlight yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on camera since I could kill some time right now, right? So let's go ahead. And I just recently bought this um, blush from Milani. It's called T Rose Powder Blush, and it's super super cute. It looks like this. It looks like a rose. It's super cute. How cute is this? And this is this nice tea rose. Like, I can't, is, there's no way to explain it besides the name it is. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this on any brush that I find here. Okay. So, I'm taking my angled brush, my Morphe angled brush. And I'm just taking a little bit and I'm going to place it right on my cheeks. And I'm just taking a little tad bit of it. I'm not going to go crazy because I do have a lot going on on the bottom of my eyes. So I don't want it to look clownish. You know what I mean? So I'm taking that. And then after this, I'm going to go ahead and put my highlight on. And I'm going to use my nice little fan brush. It's from BH Cosmetics. I got it from when I was in school. And I actually am going to use a eyeshadow as a highlighter. I do not know the name, guys. I'm so sorry of these eyeshadows because it came in a palette. It came in with the color anthology Sephora palette. And I'm just taking any highlight that has gold in it for my skin tone because I don't want to look ashy because if it has a golden... Um, if it has gold, like, little shimmers and stuff, it goes with my complexion because I do have, um, yellow undertones. And if you have, if you're lighter, if you're a lighter complexion than I, um, a nice white, pink, pearly highlight will go with you because it'll, um, enhance your, your, your bone, your bone, your, bone, your um, cheekbones. So I'm taking something that's gold toned for me. And I'm just taking it at the high points of my face. And I'm not going to go too crazy with it. And I'm just dusting some on. And if you guys recreate, the, recreate this look... Um, tag me in it. Let me know how it went for you. If you have any questions that doesn't have to do with this look, if you have any questions in general about makeup, you let me know. I will be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. So just let me know, guys. Okay. And I'm just taking a little above right here. Just going at the feet, the point. I'm just going at the areas that I want to bring forward. You guys should already know this. If you don't, now you do. Excuse me, I'm such a pig. Okay, so I'm done with my highlighting for now. I might go back in with a little bit of more highlight to um to amplify my intensity of my highlight because I really love highlights. But uh, what I'm gonna do now is my lips, and what I'm gonna use today is my ColourPop my ColourPop Cosmetics liquid lipstick in what is it? Koala. This color I am in love with. These two colors, um, the pop of colors that I'm using, they complement each other. So I love the way they look together. They pull this look together. I just love it. So I'm not going to line my lips or anything. I'm just going to go ahead and pop it, pop it right on my lips. 
my lips are already moisturized I had chapstick on it while I was doing my makeup so I'm just gonna start right here like this start from the middle and just work my way throughout my lips and like I said it does not necessarily have to be any of these colors that I'm using you could go ahead and feel free to use whatever color that tickles your fancy And feel free to line your lips before you do your lip, do, um, put on your color, uh, whatever way works for you. Let me know if you guys have tried these liquid lipsticks in the comments down below and how you like it and which colors do you use. All that jazz. I'm in love with this color. I have like six of these lippies and I do not regret buying them at all. I regret buying um, the LA Splash ones because they're super expensive. But this video is not about products I regret. But if you guys want to know what um, products I regret buying let me know if you would like to see a video of that down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys but guys welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing this look right here this pop of color is uh it's appropriate for any event that you're going to or if you're tired of with if you're tired of doing natural looks this is a way to ease into the pop of colors if you're scared of using color you can start like this i mean excluding the lip you can just do your eyes or excluding the eyes you could do your lips but if you guys want to stay tuned on knowing how i did this look you know what to do just keep on watching 